I'll just do a little bit of the outside. The church ringing. See a bridge over there, and that's the fourth of the far, so what do we call it? Big bridge right over there. Bit hazy. I'm just doing a small part of the church. I'm going to go inside in a minute. I might have to move my van to another car park and come back this afternoon after lunch and finish off. And I can charge this up at the same time. It's a lovely day, it's turned out a lovely day, which helps with um, imagery. Lots of old graves here for people. Of course, I'm not grave hunting like that today. I'm just coming back this way to get a view of the church from here. The abbey and the palace, I should say, but being the parish church. That building right over there, I've got a feeling that is now Dunfermline Town Hall. Yeah, you could do it. You could spend a week here, couldn't you? Might They might need another visit yet. Might do.
Margaret Shrine, that's what this bit is. Margaret Shrine. This could be a part of the church where David was buried. I mean, look, once there was railings along there, look. You can see. Little places to sit as well. This is David's mother, St. Margaret, the Chapel of St. Margaret. It was a fortunate church in the Middle Ages which possessed the body of an important saint. Not only did the sanctity of the relic cast an added glory on the church, but the offerings of the crowds of pilgrims were a welcome addition to the finances. These offerings often made it possible to undertake major rebuilding. Having a saint in the family was also to the advantage of the royal family of Scotland, which after the time of Margaret and her son David I was rather less noted for its saintliness. Oh, let's see that then. I wasn't expecting that. I'm just going to turn off a minute, take some photos of this memorial to St. Margaret. So he was a saint, so was his mother then. <laughs>